Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Wings of Vi. I am the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric, and we are still stuck at the Violet Boss fight. Nope, it's not at all the Violet Boss. It's for me by now, the Violet Boss fight, let's be honest. But, um, it's actually the Twin or Boss fight. So, Red is not a real problem anymore. She's just there to. Well, make this a twin orc boss fight, not just a solo orc boss fight, which would be weird. And um, now we have trouble getting the health of uh, an orc named Violet down. Actually, I named her Violet, so it's not the it's not really an orc named Violet. Let's just end that one right there. By the way, I turned off the damage indicators in the last episode. And, like, not indicators, but the, the damage counters in the uh, last episode. And now I hope that reduces the amount of uh, actual concentration I spend on that. Not like um, conversation, uh, uh, concentration is actually some kind of currency, but I'm, I'm making it to be currency. Whoa, it fell down. That was really fortunate. That usually would not happen right there. Instead, I am apparently a robot. I wish I could do that all the time. If I could, I wouldn't have so much trouble with this boss fight. Ah, why don't you indeed stay on the ground? And that's how you do that. You stay on the friggin' floor. But nope. Mr. Eric over here just has to jump into the air. Who? Oh, this air was made for me! Why did God give me wings in the first place if I don't use them? Just jump into the air! Like an angel, like the angel you are! That is what she's thinking. But nope, that's not how you get past the air without, with staying, whilst staying alive. No! So much damage. There's no way that's fathomable. Plonk. Plonk! That is my death because I didn't do what I'm supposed to. So, today I've been like dealing with this boss fight for a while already. You might be able to tell from the style of commentary and my style of gameplay right now. But, um, yes, I've been dealing with this boss fight for about two hours today. Like, ah, uh, it's a normal Wednesday afternoon. Dealing with this shitty boss fight for two hours. It's actually not a Wednesday at all. It is a Monday. If you want to know so badly. I don't know what I, why I restarted there. What I, what I was thinking. It doesn't matter, does it? We have to deal with this fight anyway, and it really doesn't matter how often I restart. If I actually manage to beat it in the end. Why did I jump in the end there? That is dangerous. Mmm. I missed out a lot on a lot of damage there. I took a lot of damage there. Oh, hellhounds, please. So easy to deal with the hellhounds. Eric, you're such an idiot. Don't do that. Don't you, don't you dare give me that. I don't know what I was thinking. That is not how I normally do. Oh! It is not at all how I normally do things. I've got my rhythm and I cannot get out of it. I can only learn this one way and that is by doing everything the same every time so I trigger these same things. Since there's not very much RNG involved in this boss fight it shouldn't be that frustrated and frustrating actually but it's frustrating any anyways because every boss fight in this game is supposed to be frustrating so this one is as well there is no this one is not an exception but this one is frustrating because there's like a minimum amount of RNG involved the only RNG I can actually think of is what what the the beginning of the second 
uh, after the second, after the first trend, after the transitions is what I should say. What what kind of um, rhythm there's going to be after the transitions. If red is going to attack immediately or jump immediately. That's the only actual RNG I can think of. Besides the spiky disco ball appearing in dis different places and these silly bear traps that nobody really cares about. Yeah, yeah. Trivial stuff. Getting hit two times is not trivial stuff, though. Okay, there's pre... Excuse me. Luckily, those only do five damage, so if you don't get hit by anything else, it really does not actually matter if you got hit by one of those bear traps. Except for the, your damage output. Because it stuns. Nope. No reason to get greedy. Got all the reasons to be greedy. Whoa! That was awesome. I'm glad, like, I'm happy if I do that. Very much so. No! Oh! Oh my god, I got it. Oof. Now just don't do anything stupid. No bear trap. Okay, there is a bear trap. That bugs me a little bit. Okay, now I jump over. Now I can get a little bit of damage in. That's fine. You jump over here and you're gonna jump away immediately again. And I can get a few damage points in on her. Jump over. Jump over. Jump again. Oh! I took too, like, I require too much space, is what I should say. Whoa! 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 -ho -ho, it fell off. Hmm. Did you see what I did there? I used a glide. Do you know when I do that? Never. Well, I did. Oh! Did I get hit? Yeah, probably did. I never get uh, not hit by that. There's no way I could not get hit by that. What are you doing? Is this the normal phase? Is this my birthday right now? Holy carmom! I don't know what kind of word carmom is. Sounds like some gangsters of the 1920s. Nope, it doesn't at all. Oh, shoot! Oh, that is lucky as hell. It's because I actually managed to switch back. All because of one little trick. All because of one little, one little th stupidity. Jump over, slide under, do one of these, and trick him over here, and slide under and take damage. Greatness. Whoa! What are you doing? <gasps> okay, that worked out. That worked out. You work out, baby. Whoa, I didn't expect you to work out, baby. Hey, why am I doing so much damage to red? I'm not supposed to at this point. I'm still doing it. Oh, still doing it. So much doing it. Okay, now stop. Like, the, the greatest mistake I did was switching my whip. I pushed the A button. I pushed it though! I pushed it! I know I pushed it! <laughs> you know what I need? I need this, like, the game not to crash after I beat this boss fight. That is the number one thing that I need. I just tasted victory. But I need this boss, like, this game not to crash. If there's one thing I desire the most, it's actually my girlfriend. But the second thing would be not this game crashing when I beat this boss fight. I almost said something silly. Oh well. When would I not say something silly? No! No! Okay. Fine. It's good enough. 
You're allowed to take damage there once. Oh, snap a doodle. That was maximum damage. That was like a gold split in the thousand year door with Elmo speedruns. Nice. Nicest analogy ever. How malicious is a speedrunner on Twitch? That I know of. And am apparently, apparently so fond of that I mentioned him during my Let's Play. Oh well. Don't think about it too much. Don't worry about it. Why do you do that? I'm caught up. Shoop. 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 Oh, why would you? <gasps> it fell off. Oh, snap a doodle doo. You do a little bit. You do a little jump. You do a little jump. You go over here, way over here, and now I can theoretically squeeze through there. It is possible. I've done it before. That was more than 13 damage, if I'm, <laughs> if I can count correctly, without seeing any damage indicators. Did you know damage indicators are almost like space invaders? Almost. Mm -hmm. I recently read that in a magazine. I'm gonna jump up. Don't worry about it. Okay, don't worry about it. What am I doing? Okay. Saved it. Did I? Yep, I did. Oh. Wait, what? Oh! You do another jump. I miscounted. Did I miscount? No, I didn't. I so didn't miscount there. She did an additional jump. Huh? No! Man! I'm that great, I deal with the hellhounds, and then I just walk into fucking random fire! You got killed by random fire! Oh, you're so good at this game, Eric. You're so good. Get killed by rem random fire. Okay, tried to do an Indian accent in English there. Get killed by random fire! Nah. That was, that was just plain offensive. Oh well, I'm sorry if I offended anybody. I'm not, I did not mean to be offensive. You jump up. You get three hits. You spawn Hellhound. You spawn also Fiery Flame of Doom. And apparently some shenanigans. I don't like shenanigans, you know that? I've got five health remaining. Oh, I've got no health remaining. Good stuff. After this one, I, I like. After this try, I actually want to do something different. Yes, people told me how to get a weapon called Lust, and I know there's another weapon that I'm able to get, theoretically. Um, the one with the sliding memory. I, th I saw the statue, but I didn't make the jump up there. Because I'm a moron. Oh, you throw another hell out, of course. And I immediately... that I immediately murdered. Oh, no. Box is too awesome. I really like that beat. I really like that beat. Another one of these. I feel like it's the same every time, but I don't do damage to Violet, any meaningful amount anyways. Okay, fine. And I'm gonna go back to Underworld. Falling Memory. Yeah, Falling Memory. Okay. That's where I wanna be. 
So, what I do is skip this. And I go over here. Oh, fine. Why is there things I have to kill? And skeleton chariots! Oh, I remember these. I don't actually. Why are you here? Stop it. Stop it! Oh, now Skype is messing with me. Ah, uh, okay, fine. No way. Not getting this weapon right now. I do not want to play anymore. Return to current time. I'm not getting that weapon. I'm sorry. I am too lazy right now. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Until next time. Bye-bye.